Hey folks, this is KBSMC. It's a video of my uh, my micro solar micro uh, geothermal hot tub cooler. All right, here here we've got this control box. I built to protect my charge controller. I made it out of Lexan, and it's pretty neat. It keeps it dry and keeps it cool. And I lift, lift this lever up, this um, like saying um, faceplate up. There she is. And right there, I zoom in. Right there, sorry about that. That's where I can zoom in. I mean, that's where I can uh, set it to run at night or whenever I want to. And right here is your test button. Right here. That's your test button right there. But it is nice. It works great. And that green light up there, the LEDs that says it shows it's charging. It's pretty wild. But anyway, and I got it. This is going to my pump right here. Right here. These these cables. And they're going up here. Um over there to my uh my pump I got. I'm using a real a rule dust pump. And these are my battery cables. These are my 10 gauge solar PV cable, which is pretty, um, plenty fine for what I got. And here's my battery. And this is an AGM Universal Battery Group 27 series. Same thing I'm, I'm using in my uh, my shop from Outback for my solar system. And it's an AGM battery, um, UB12900. I mean, 12 volt, 90 amp hours battery and keeps this thing pretty charged all day long and it's a 20 watt panel and the solar panel is coming right here that's what's charging the battery okay here's that and I got a nice little case to keep it all up in and I got holes uh, where it can breathe plus it stays on this deck where it's nice and stays cool and there's no gases to leak because it's an AGM battery it's tucked in there nice and good and here I just close, and the reason why I made out of Lexan, or clear, is where I can see if it's charged or not. Plus it keeps the rain, the water, even though it's outdoor, morning star, uh, sun, sunlight 10, it still keeps it dry. All right, and I got holes in the bottom and holes in the side to keep it all uh, work and breathe. All right. And here's my 12 volt panel, excuse me, 20 watt panel, 12 volt. And it's getting plenty of sun today, and it's a monocrystalline panel. It's nice, it does a great job. And here's how I got it mine. I got a 2x4 underneath it here, going to my deck, salt treated, all stainless steel. Does a great job. And like I said, I can run this thing anytime of the day, during the day. Well, I'll, I'll press the test button right here. It says test. Okay, I'll, I'll press that button and, it's, and it'll run. And here's the water. Oh, it's my, it is nice and cool. And there she is. And it's running that cool te water temperature. And that's the that's a, coming from the underground. And that geothermal that I made. And this goes back into the hot tub, recirculates. And here's my bilge pump. Right here. And I put that down to the bottom where the water will circulate. But, oh, it does a great job. Good way to keep your hot tub cool. In the summertime. And that's how I do it. And here is my everything I got here. Um, like I say, my cable and my, my pump. And I can just I can just take this out of the hot tub when I'm not when it's not in use and we and we can enjoy the hot tub. Yep. So anyway, I'll show you the temperature of the hot tub now. And let's know what's going on. Let me 
see. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, there you go. It's 83 degrees, which is a great temperature for swimming in. And it's about 90 degrees out here right now here in good old Virginia. Uh, anyway, this is KVU SMC. Thank you all for watching. And y'all have a great day, and thanks for being my subscribers. <laughs> Thank you very much. Y'all have a great one. All right, bye-bye.